Good morning and welcome. My name is Grant McLaughlin, and I'm a Vice President with Booz Allen Hamilton, a global strategy and technology consulting firm, and we're the proud sponsor of this Special Olympics conversation series. Booz Allen has a long history of supporting programs that encourage and highlight the importance and impact that diversity brings to society as a whole. We know that everyone can make significant contributions to our communities. On a daily basis, Booz Allen recognizes the importance of women to the work we do for our clients from the senior ranks to the most newest recruits. Women are a driving force of Booz Allen's culture, business, and future. They drive, sorry. Uh, they work with clients on programs of national importance. They lead major initiatives, drive change, test innovation, uh, innovative ideas, and blaze trails. All while successfully integrating their personal and work lives. Our women's agenda helps them soar. It is squarely aimed at creating the policies, frameworks, opportunities, and environment where talented women can build exceptional careers. Booz Allen has also been a proud supporter of the Special Olympics, both on an international level and across the United States. On an annual basis, over 1,000 employees dedicate their time, energy, and intellectual capital to the international uh, games and organization. The purpose of this morning's session is to educate and engage you about the importance of sports as a tool to promote gender equity and the empowerment of girls and women in Special Olympics, as well as the potential impact on individual athletes, families, and their communities. In conjunction with the findings from this conversation, Special Olympics will unveil language aligning with the Olympic Charter, recent amendment, and I quote, the IOC encourages and supports the promotion of women in sport at all levels and in all structures with a view of implementing the principle of equality of men and women. As attendees, your participation is meaningful and will have an impact on the future of Special Olympics. Following today's uh, main stage conversation, we're gonna shift the conversation to the tables. Each table has been assigned a facilitator and a recorder who will help engage the conversation at your table to come up with a, a simple recommendations and actions that you believe can help further the conversation. Those actions and recommendations will be consolidated into a single report, and that report will go to the Special Olympics International Board. That report will be available within 48 hours, and uh, we encourage you to engage. Yesterday's conversation was very dynamic, um, and so I hope today is equally as, as equally as dynamic. It is now my pleasure to introduce two very talented Sergeant Shriver International Global Messengers, Carolyn Ferdinand from Special Olympics France, and Christina O'Neill from Special Olympics USA. Ladies. Bonjour, je m'appelle Caroline Verdenal et j'habite à Pau dans le sud-ouest de la France. Hello, my name is Caroline Verdenal and I live in the city of Pau in the southwest of France. À l'âge de 4 ans, on a découvert que j'avais un problème d'épilepsie et un petit retard du développement de l'intelligence. At the age of 4, it was discovered that I had epilepsy which slowed my intellectual development. Ma grand-mère, qui a été institutrice, m'a appris à lire et à écrire. Plus tard, je suis rentrée en institution spécialisée où j'ai passé mon diplôme. Et depuis 28 ans, je travaille dans un atelier. My grandmother, a former teacher, taught me to read and write. Later, I graduate, graduated from a specialized institution, and for 28 years now, my vocation is in a workshop. Je vis dans un appartement avec mon compagnon, et ensemble, nous faisons partie d'une association nationale appelée Nous Aussi, qui lutte contre la discrimination envers les personnes ayant une déficience intellectuelle. My companion and I live together in an apartment. And we are both active members of a national association called Nous Aussi, or Us Too, that fights against discrimination towards persons with intellectual disabilities. J'ai toujours aimé le sport, 
Et en 1985, j'ai eu la chance de participer aux Jeux mondiaux d'hiver de spécial olympique à Salt Lake City aux États-Unis. J'ai obtenu la médaille d'argent en ski de fond. I have always loved sports, and in 1985, I competed in the Special Olympics World Winter Games in Salt Lake City in the United States, where I won a silver medal in cross-country skiing. Aujourd'hui, je suis head de coach de deux équipes de basketball, et j'ai beaucoup d'émotion et de satisfaction à voir le bonheur et la fierté sur les visages de mes joueurs que j'ai éprouvés moi-même. Today I am the assistant coach of two basketball teams and I am very emotional and satisfied when I see the same feelings of joy and pride on the faces of my players that I felt when I competed. C'est un grand honneur pour moi et mon pays d'avoir été désigné comme Sergeant Shriver International Global pour euh, Messenger pour Special Olympic. Je fais tout mon possible pour faire connaître ce grand mouvement sportif qui apporte tant aux sportifs ayant une déficience intellectuelle. Being a Sergeant Shriver International Global Messenger for Special Olympics is a great honor for me and my country. I am doing my utmost to spread the word about this wonderful movement that does so much for athletes with an intellectual disability. Merci. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for having us. It's an honor to be here. My name is Christina O'Neill Rhodes, and I have done Special Olympics Missouri for over 20 years. For I've been very fortunate in my life. I've been adopted twice. First, by the O'Neills, who helped me realize what my dreams were. And then, I was adopted by Special Olympics, who helped me make my dreams come true. Many, many of my dreams have already come true. For instance, I won the Win Casey Adversity Award, who was given by the Kansas City, Missouri Sports Authority, and it was presented by Billie Jean King. <laughs> One of my biggest dreams was also to become a Sergeant Shriver International Global Messenger. And to me, it's a great honor to have. Also, one of my dreams was to be chosen to complete at the National Games, which was held in Lincoln, Nebraska, where I compete in aquatics. One of my dreams was to become a basketball coach. I'm still in my first year of my three-year session. But one of my recent accomplishments was when I left my family and I started a new adventure with my, with my husband, who I married, that I have known for 11 years. Thank you. To me, Special Olympics is not just a sport. It's about building self-confidence, and it's about building our self-esteem, and it's about us building our friendships, building acceptance, and most of all, building respect for ourselves as athletes. Thank you. Et maintenant, nous allons vous passer une petite vidéo. Okay. And now we will show you a short video. Titled Sports Teaches Us. Please enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> 